Are you ready for your April 2022 market updates? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with eXp Realty. And today I am going to share with you our market updates for April, 2022. But before we get into it, y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way when I post a video, you will know about it. And if you could do me a favor, go ahead and give your homegirl a thumbs up so that all the folks on YouTube know that you like the video, okay? And subscribe. I would love it if you would just be a part of this YouTube community with me. And let's talk about our North Dallas market update. Okay, y'all, I know that there is a lot of talk in the real estate market and things are changing quite quickly, but I want to give you the market update so that you know exactly what happened around these here parts in April of 2022. Now, as a reminder, I know a lot of people think that, oh, you live in Texas, so you service everything. And y'all, Texas is huge. Like, I think you can go from one point of the state and drive 18 hours and not even be at the other point of the state. So for reference, I am in the far North Dallas area and I service the far North Dallas suburbs. So today we are going to talk about Collin County, Frisco, Prosper in Salina, Texas. So let's see what happened. So here's your update about Prosper. The average sales price was 870,000. The days on market in April trended right at about five days. The number of new listings were 130 new listings and the number of homes that sold were 75 homes. Now in Frisco, the average sales price was $750,000. The days on market were five. We saw 366 new listings hit the market in Frisco, Texas, and the number of homes that sold were 259. Now, Salina, not too far behind it, the average sales price was $668,143, again, with five days on market. The number of listings in Salina were 110, and the number of homes sold were 76. In Collin County as a whole, um, we had an average sales price of 550,000. The average days on market were five. The number of new listings that came to market were 1,808, and the number of homes sold were 1,273. So here's one thing to keep in mind when I share with you the April market updates, is that on average, homes are in escrow from the time they go from contract to close, the average amount of time is 30 days. So what that means is that when we are looking at March, I'm sorry, when we're looking at April numbers, a lot of those homes went under contract in March. And in March, our interest rates were not trending at the rate that they are right now. So it will be very interesting to see, and I know a lot of real estate professionals were starting to feel it, a little bit of shift in market. So make sure that you check in with me in May, and I can give you just a little bit more insight on how higher interest rates and a little bit of increased inventory has affected the market. Like, are we still gonna be in the seller's market? Are we shifting towards buyers? We all will wait and see. Now, if you made it to the end of this video and you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and subscribe because not only am I here um, just to share with you market updates and tips, but I always like to show you fun things to do in the Dallas Metroplex and let you know what's coming soon to the area and giving you tips about living and loving this area. Now, if you could do me a favor, um, share, like share these videos with anyone that you think would benefit from it. And I can't wait to see you soon. Have a good one.